basement studio and I just wanted to um, report on a project that we're working on. We're kind of in the middle of it. It's um, a project that is for the Racine Art Museum. They're having a museum-wide insect um, ex bunch of exhibitions on um, this summer and they have a couple glass cases and they've asked a couple or four artists to put installations in these glass cases that have to do with insects. So we decided to do the life cycle of the dragonfly. So it starts with some eggs here, and then they um, actually, they, something hatches, there's a nymph form um, that goes into, um, not a cocoon, but like an outer casing, it, more, it changes, and then the dragonfly emerges. So we, that's what we decided to do. Now, the space that we have to fill, this glass case, is 108 inches by about 2 feet by 2 feet. So it's a rather large space, and that's a little drying of it. And then here we have a picture of the space. We There's the space. I did. It's just lit. made there this uh, three-dimensional model of the actual space. And the reason that we did this is because there's a lot of space to fill and we're doing some different sculptural elements and we really didn't know how they would fill the space. We really didn't quite know exactly what we were doing. This dragonfly uh, that was started in January. Uh, High-density polyurethane wings and the body. Scott has sculpted some legs. Um, it needs to be beaded. But this is going to be the anchor to our piece. This is actually the end of that dragonfly life cycle. Because we've decided to make some lily pads, they're going to be, obviously, they're going to be three-dimensional and they're going to be beaded. But this just gives us a visual of how these will fill the space. So, there's a lily pad here, and then a couple other lily pads that we put in here just to see how they would look. Before the dragonfly the becomes a mature dragonfly, there is a nymph stage. And this piece of high-density polyurethane foam represents the nymph. Now, this is, a, uh, this is a drawing Scott did of the, of the nymph. He's going to do a sculpture, and then I'm going to beat it. It's so obviously be crawling out in the center part of this case onto a log. Because what happens with these nymphs is they actually, there is um, the first stage to this, as I said, is They're when these, these eggs are hatched out, underwater. they crawl onto the log. They then dry out and become dragonflies. That's what emerges. So that's what we're doing here. I just wanted to show you this in progress. It will probably metamorphosize a few times. Again, we don't know how exactly this is going to end up, but this is where we are right now. And I just wanted to show this to you because we've never made a box. We've never had to do anything like this before, but it was the best way for us to figure out how this piece is going to come together. So I just wanted to give you kind of a midstream report. From the basement, it is March 4th, 2010. Betsy Yonkos reporting. Scott's doing a lovely job taking the video.